Hey guys, I have Pokemon Eye here. Today I'm going to show a collection that I bought, that I bought over the weekend. It's a pretty good collection, um, quite high end. The profit margins uh, depends if I get rid of the high stuff at the high value that it is. I should make a decent amount of uh, profit. Um, but if I sell it at low end, it will just be low profit. That dust is expected. There's a decent amount of high end stuff in here. I paid a total of around eight hundred dollars, approximately. Um, it's about six six fifty quid. And yeah, I'm just gonna go through it. So just a quick history of this collection. The person I bought it off, uh, he used to go to my old locals. Uh, this is a long time ago. Uh, I remember that he had decent cards. His binder was never changing, but I just remember he had quite good cards for someone of his age uh, back then. And so, this was back here in 2013 or 12 I saw him last. So I presume that none of his cards changed and I was right. As of now, he probably sold a couple of things uh, before then, or before we met even. And Facebook is such a good, um, a good thing. You just find these old people, if you remember their names, you find their old people, uh, you find them, you contact them, and hey, Although I contacted him a year ago, um, and he was cancelling for various reasons and stuff, and finally... Anyway, let's go ahead and show the collection. So this binder is, well, quite low-end really. But hey, um, it's good to sell low-end stuff first, and then do the high-end stuff. High-end stuff is quite hard to shift at the current value. But it's very easy to shift um, at low values, obviously, because people, everyone wants high-end stuff, isn't it? Anyway, we'll just start. So we've got some Star Day Blue Ices. We've got Korean Yap One. Um, so it feels the English, they're worth a hell of a lot more. The Ultra. Like these are unlimited. I don't think he has any first ed relevant cards anyway. We've got Legendary Collection Gods here. Not like it matters. PCK Blue Eyes. We've got Legendary Collection Blue Eyes. PCY Dark Magician. No relevant. The stuff is in relatively bad condition. Blue Eye Shining up there, we got um, Rise of Destiny, Dark Magician Girl, the Tin Dark Magician Girl. Uh, are we getting somewhere? Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> We've got Anniversary Pack stuff here, the whole, I think the whole set. This is the Jump Dark Magician, I right, cool. Sorcerer Dark Magic, decent seller. Um, everything else, I think this is an alright seller as well, um, E. Heronius. This is really expensive right now. It's like 30 quid, so it's pretty sick. Got random ultra security orbs. They're worth absolutely nothing. The ultimates are where the money, or well, a bit more money is at. Ultra magic jammer, we've got secret treasure maps, whatever. Uh, Dark mirror force. We've got some hero, hero stuff. These are tin, tin granias, ultra granias. I, I reckon they're still worth a little bit of money. Retro pack, uh, Thousand Eyes. Super Bat Skull Dragon, this is my favourite rarity of Bat Skull Dragon. Cool. Cyber End Dragon. Um, hopefully, that's not damage on it. Oh no, it's on the sleeve. Alright, it's fine. Ultimate Ultimate Ancient Gego, worth a nice amount. It's unlimited though. Got Arm Dragon level 10, it's absolutely screwed condition, but if you sell it with the set, a little bit more money, you know. Um, Secret Fairy Dragon, so that's a relevant seller where it sells, I guess. We got an Ultra First Aid Reborn. It's quite damaged, but hey, we got some random Dark Guys. You can kind of tell because the binder's quite old of roughly the era that he played in, long, long time ago. It's nice getting collections like this. There's a couple other people I want to hit up first, uh, also to get old stuff from or to get collections from because some stuff, you know, is worth an all right amount now. Obviously back then these were worth a lot, they were like 10 each for the rare crush cards and people wouldn't realise, people would have never guessed the rare crush cards that much. Got Ultra Dark, Ultra Dark Souls, Ultra Dark Souls, Common Thunder King, some random jank, this sells well, it's a Winkery Bear, Super Warning, still sells. I guess we have a French First Dead Judgment, and an Ultra Unlimited Judgment, Super Bribe. Yuki's World, so 2013, oh, he must have bought this when, when it came out, I guess. 
because I know he hasn't done any buying since then. <laughs> Ultra first day changing heart. This is actually perfect condition, it's cool. But this is not really worth much. We've got super graceful charities there. Uh, super brain controls, common change of hearts and stuff like that. Super rescue cats, alright I guess. Secret Goyos, I'm there. Rare rescue cats, ultra straddle sniff. Champion pack straddles there. Random, like, whatever this stuff is. I do not know what to do with it. But it's random. I got a lot of his stuff from him. Including things that he's drawn on. I kind of want to give it to him. I don't have any new uh, Thunder yet. This is the misprint. That's cool. I didn't realise that. That's the Fiend Mega Cyber. Alright, cool. Random other whatever that stuff is. Oracles, I guess. We got a ultra rare Buster Blader. Pretty pretty good condition. Uh, unlimited random stuff that he's drawn on or whatever. Uh, random old school secrets. Not old school, but you know. Some stuff it would be worth something to some people. But the general price of old secret rares is quite low. We got Gaia, which is cool. We got German Plasma Vice Blair. Secret Rainbow Neos. Got Trihorn Spanish. Rosetta Reticulance, Earthbound Line Walker, whatever that is. He had some sign stuff in here as well, um, but I don't know what I've done with it. Some other these are commons that I took out in the common folder. There was like a small common folder that I put, took it out because it's a little bit relevant now. So that's all good. Um, apparently, it will foreign wherever the foreign stuff is on the next. Uh, that's binder number one. There's only two binders. This one's actually good. Now, funny story about this binder. Uh, well, the design of this binder and stuff. A long time ago, I posted up a, a trade binder or stuff for sale. And it was in a white binder with black in the inside with green sleeves. And he told me this. And I was just cracked up laughing. It's like, wow, people were actually, well, you actually copied me of my old binder because you like the design of it. So we got some ultimate stuff. We got a bubble men, uh, unlimited. We got banishers and DD crows. I like banishers a lot, and it seemed like he did as well. He's got his two more on the next page. Yeah. Got ultra cyber dragon, super D fissures, super mind crushers, ultra bow, disable, ultra DD warrior. Uh, it's a shame that, you know, this one's not worth well, a huge amount. We've got, super, we've got First Head Secret Eradicators, that's sick. Felgrand. Uh, we've got Retort. Deep Prisons. Some random foreign uh, armor. Super Vindictive. Apprentice. Fearmonger. Titles. Jiu Jitsu. There's a Hydra Geddon. It's the shiny all over one. Giant Germ and Sanctuary, Bean Sanctuary. We've got two ultimate security orbs here, these are worth a nice amount. Whatever this stuff at the bottom is, I don't know. Secret Trish, Chaos Hunter, Star Eater, uh, Phoenix. I think that's the Phoenix even. It's not a TP2 jar. It's not a TP2 jar. It's ultimate Scrap Dragon here. Utopia Ray Victory, they sell still. We've got Quarter of Hortons up there, Ultra Rares, another Phoenix. DT Troopers. I remember paying uh, an arm and leg for my original ones and I just even ultras. I mean, I remember when they were like 20 quid each. Obviously, now they're like, you'll be lucky to get a quid for ultras now. Uh, Super Assailant. Gold Thunder Kings. Secret Details. Teleports, even. Some random DT stuff, like absolutely random. I guess uh, Honest is alright in DT, you know. More DT stuff. So these are not DT, obviously not. Secret Gauze. This is not CP. It's DT and Silent and it. Super Wolves. DT stuff here. Cyber Dragon DTs. Limited removal Snipe Hunters. These were once worth a lot as well. <laughs> Malicious is. Gauze. These. Night Beams. Supercharged, not secret. It's common law. Common law is still worth an uh, okay amount, or a little bit. There's some random Korean uh, tokens, including common English tokens. 
And there's also Korean packs sealed here. I don't know what's worth. I've got YCS token there. I presume that's a Sheffield one, I'm not sure. Um, Ultra Spark Men and Ultra Red MD. Ultra Avarice. Ultra Cannons. Sounds like cannons. We've got Secret Honest. Ferris Tor. Strauss Secret First Stage Rally. He pulled this. I remember the video. Um, I don't think any of you would have watched it. And I don't even think the video is available on, on YouTube anymore. But it was just the most one of the most funniest reactions I, I, I saw back then. We got more Ultra Cyber Dragons. I don't think they're worth much anymore. The ultimate rares um, have been uh, uh, higher. Got Absolute Zero Super and Ultra. We got Super Dualities, Ultra Miracle Fusion, Super Polarization. Sorry, Secret Super Polys equals. They still sell, and so do these. These not so much. Rare uh, Common slash Starfoil Skill Drain. We got Super Veilers. Super Bomb Man, a Super Snowman Eater, Snowman Eater, Secret Cyber Dragons, and another Super Warning up there. This is where the most value begins now. Well, pretty much all the value is from here onwards. It's kind of what I paid for it. Super Lone Fires, not Fusion Enforcers, Super Smash, two Super Bomb Misses. One of them is the Foil All Over one. And, and literally the condition of these are pretty, pretty sick. They're, they're probably the better, they're better condition than my ones, anyway. Um, CP Reapers, CP Raw, obviously a CP book. It's Italian. The language for me doesn't matter for that stuff. Uh, we've got a First Ed Rainbow Neos, First Ed Chaos Neos in another language. First Ed Draco Knight, Draco Quest. First Ed Stardust Dragon Ghost, First Ed Black Rose Dragon Ghost, First Edition Fairy Dragon Ghost. This is a lot of money here. Uh, these are like 100 each minimum. I, I don't know about this, maybe 40 or something. A Majestic Star, First Ed Honest, First Ed Black Winged Dragon, Unlimited Ancient Fairy Power Tool, and it's Calibre. I think that is everything with this. So, obviously, um, the first binder had literally no value in it, and as soon as I get to, you know, the, this page, you realise, actually, it, it was an alright deal, you know? And there's some stuff in here, like previous, that I can sell. I have to just sell it quickly or add it to my current stock. I need to learn not to add things onto my current collection, which is just difficult. I don't want to add bottomless and book. Lone Fires and uh, the Ghost Stardusts and stuff to my collections, but I think it's just going to happen because it's me. And anyway, thanks guys for watching. I poke my here. Eight hundred dollars was the rough price of this collection, and I don't know. You know, um, I bought it because I wanted it. I wanted some of this stuff before anyone else could get their hands on it. To be honest. Um, I know a couple of my friends, or not friends, people that I know are trying to hit up their old locals and stuff, hit up people from their old locals to try and buy collections like this. And I'm just going to start going through, not my Facebook friends, but just old YouTube messages. I don't know about text, because I can't remember the phone I had. I think it might have been the, uh, the Cybershop Sony Ericsson. That was a sick phone. Anyway, um... Hey, thanks guys for watching. Hi Pokemon I here and if you you had a locals that shut down and you got contact numbers or you remember their names, um you should probably hit them up hoping that other people already haven't hit them up um and ask if they want to sell their stuff because you can you know you offer them a bit of cash, well not a bit, you offer them some cash, not an insulting offer obviously, and you'll probably get it. Um, if it was anyone else, would I pay eight eight hundred dollars? Um, I'm not too sure, but <coughs> um, I think this this double page alone is um, like five hundred, right? I don't know how much these are anymore. Let's pay like seventy each or something. So it's two hundred. At least five hundred. What am I talking about? Because these are at least a hundred alone. So yeah, anyway, that's that. Uh, thanks guys for watching I Poke My Hit, and I will see you guys later. I know it's a long video. I quite like to talk, as you probably are aware. 
and maybe some of you like to listen and hear what I have to say about things that I buy. If you had 800, would you spend it on this or would you rather just spend it on absolute low end stuff? High end stuff is quite challenging. It's fun, it's completely different actually to try and shift high end stuff. But it, once you shift a high end card, it's quite rewarding. Um, I've done it. First, the first high end card I shifted was a super rare giant hand. And that was just so, it was just like, wow, I can't believe I got that price for that card. Anyway, that's the Thanks guys for watching. I've opened my hair and I'll, I'll see you guys later. Oh, and also, not to mention that, um, in. When you're buying older collections, most probably they're going to be in Monster Binders because these were the hot thing back then. Uh, Ultra Pro Binders are actually, in my opinion, better. I think they're better. You, they don't seem to get damaged as much. And they don't damage your cards when they get to the back couple of pages, you know? Anyway, I'll, I'll see you guys later.